Hello guys, welcome to another video. Um, it's kind of lots more related to this one, but it's to help out anyone that think of banks or stuff like that. Um, so this is an emulator uh, for your PC, so you can uh, emulate a phone on your computer. And this is a LD player. Now I recommend this one. Um, I already tested out Mimo. I already taste, uh, tested out uh, Blue Stacks. Those two are very CPU intensive, and then and they have broken on me uh, multiple times already. And so far, LD player has been working pretty well for me. Now, I recommend for you to get the LD player 4.0, the Android 7.1 version. I personally don't have an Android, so I don't know what was the big difference between 5.1 and 7.1, but the 7.1 version has been working perfectly fine, very smoothly for me, with not, with not being too CPU intensive, which makes it easier on your computer. Now, once you download it, uh, so we're gonna hop back over to my food out. So as you see, uh, whenever you see my account like this, you see the borders right here. This is the LD player uh, interface and how it looks in, in game. And I'll be showing you how to how to set up a macro pro a macro program for it. Well, quote unquote macro uh, to send resources or to open all your admin quests. So pretty much, you first you want to set it you want to set it up so you can do it individually as many people as you want. So right here. Let's see, who do I know that's in this kingdom already? Let's go with, I think, Z over here. Uh, right. All right, so you're gonna go to the profile of the per of any player within your guild. Uh, the, you're gonna be, um, and then you're gonna come over here. You see this nice button where you see the mouse? This little play button, it's, gonna, it's called Operation Recorder. When you open it, it, it it does not show up on my thing let me let me make it let me do something else then all right let's make this big okay so this will come out as you can see i already have some of them already set up but i'm gonna make a new one just to show you so you're gonna do you're gonna make for the record a simple process and by simple i mean something that you can repeat over and over again as many times as you need so basically uh, this account this food bank of mine uh, can send a total of what is it? Uh, 4.4 million. So I gotta remember that whenever someone's asking for resources, so I know how much I can send. Uh, so to know how many I'm I'll be sending. So first you're gonna put start recording, and when you put start recording right here on the on the top, right in this area, you're gonna be seeing a pause and a stop button. So you're gonna want to do record. Don't click as fast as you can because it's gonna mess up. It's gonna you can mess up with the mechanics of it. And IG has set up the thing that you click too fast is gonna stop you and give you a little prompt saying that you click too fast. So you're gonna go start recording. You're gonna click on the profile in the settings, send resource, whatever resource you're gonna max it out, like drag drag to the very end, and then supply. Confirm and then stop recording. Now that recording was eight seconds, but you should have it around four seconds when you're doing it. And you see it right here. This is my my script one is gonna be the default name for it. What you wanna do is like rename it. You're gonna name um for me since I was sending food on that one is gonna be send food. Once you send and once you have it as send food, I'm gonna delete mine since I don't need it. Once you have it as send food, uh you're gonna always just play this. You you can just press play and it will repeat the action as you can see. And sending food, send. Now now repeats the action once by default so now the question is how how do you set it up to so you can set as many resources as you can so you're gonna go right here to the settings of the, whatever script you want you can do it you can do one script for every one of uh, every one of those being the same as you click on the setting things send resource go to whatever resource you're sending drag it to the very end supply okay confirm and then stop it doing this uh that would be the whole process as you keep repeating it because when you put uh when you put confirm it sends you back to this page which is where you first started you can have one for food gold or stone and wood this carries on to whichever account you have since you can also keep multiple accounts with with ld player because when you finish downloading you get two different two different programs in there being ld player and ld player uh four now the ld multiplayer four and the ld player four so basically one of them lets you have multiple instances or just multiple different phones in which you can have different accounts to move through them easily and these operations um are transferred to each account so you can use them in any account that you have 
Now, to send multiple of them, uh, you click right here in this little settings bar and you calculate depending how much you're going to send. So you're sending the basic 3 million resources per mat per March and you need to send 3 million, 300 million. You're just going to send, you're going to set this as 100 times because that's going to be the 300 million resources that you're going to be sending and you're going to put safe. And then you just put play and it's going to repeat it 100 times. And then once it finishes with the 100 times, it's going to stop and you're going to see this come back. Uh, you're going to see that it's going to stop over here. Because whenever you press play, you see this little script execution. And you can just stop it whenever to you want to change change pe person or whatever. And the reason you want to do it th this way is so you don't need to find someone else. So next time around, you're gonna be you're gonna be finding in the chat. It's like, oh okay, so and so wants to. Uh, so and so needs to have uh needs resources, and they're gonna come next to your bank. They have to be next to your bank so you can do this. Uh, they come right. They teleport right next to you. You see them on the messages. The reason you need to see them in the messages is because if, if you know people well you should know that whenever you send resources to someone out here like profile send resources well, send no that's not it what the here uh send resources you send wood supply when you put confirm it's gonna send you back out here it's not gonna send you back to the profile so you have to make sure you're inside your castle when you're doing it now you can also set up this macro to open up admin and go scrolls uh, or you just scrolls in general so the way I will do this would be right here on this on the operator recorder. I will open it up again. What I will do will be I will start recording. No, no, no. Sorry, I will not start that recording. I will do this. I will first make sure I have all the all of them. I will do the admin one first, but only the admin one because the admin one has more missions than the ghost than the good quest one as you would set it up. So this has eight on this only has nine and you always want to do with your admin depending on your vip and then every time your vip goes up i would recommend redoing this one so what you're going to be doing is going to start recording put auto complete make sure you take your time on each click oh that's going to be saying that you're clicking way too fast and then to reset the process you just click here use and you stop now this would be right here my script one this would be a uh, quest uh, Quest macro, right? That's what we're renaming it. It's right here. So like, let's see, right here we press play. Quest macro. It's gonna be auto complete, auto complete. It's gonna be complete, collecting all these quests at the same speed that you did it. Reset, use, and we're back at it. And then it stops. So if I wanted to do this to open five of them, we we'll just press five. You make sure to press save, and then you can press play. And do it's gonna complete this whole process over and over five times so it'll be like auto complete and quest scroll and it goes back to it and then it just does it again as you see and you see my mouse is over here it's not me clicking it and you cannot hear my keyboard as me clicking anything on the keyboard to mess to change something up you right, right here you see that it's still playing you can stop it right here you can stop it up here whenever you want and then just finish it yourself manually and to show you that it works on go scrolls too a uh, good quest i'm gonna play the same one quest macro and it's gonna be able to complete all the ghost go quest scrolls without having to go um go and do, do one directly just for this one. It just takes it has a little hiccup because it's it's doing the ninth click when you only have eight, or it has doing one less considering admin's quest always have one more. And stop, I don't want to use any more more of these. So that's pretty much how you set up the macros on LD player to help you out in your account to do to do he uh, really heavy tasks like sending hundreds of million of resources at a time or even doing admin quests um like opening your scrolls like my main account has over 1000 of these and i don't want to open them by hand because uh, that would be uh, over what is it 10,000 times i have to click myself to do it so i'd rather not so like in my case i have 309 i would just edit this thing this macro to open this 309 times and then you can do whatever on the computer you can uh minimize it you can open youtube in the background you can always go off and do something else go clean the house go make some food and you can, and you don't need to worry about it so that's pretty much it for it i hope you find this helpful i hope it helps you out and I'll catch up on the next one peace